Oh Christ. Why do I like doing this? In this video, folks, I find the horrendous noise and I fix it. But it comes with a dirty little differential secret. And I think there'll be quite a number of people who do not like it one bit. Let's get into it. I'm going to take the prop shaft off. I'm going to take the two half shafts out and go driving in front wheel drive only. If there's no noise, I should be pretty confident that it's the rear diff that's making the noise. Alright, you've seen me take the half shaft out, here's the prop. That's out. So now I'm going to put it in four wheel drive, lock the front wheel hubs, which means it's just front wheel drive now. And although the back wheels will be rotating, the diff will just be sat stationary. So get it up to 50, 40, 50 mile an hour, come off the gas and see if there's a noise. Well, I'm back folks and I'm mighty relieved because it makes no untoward noises at all now. It's, it's really just what you'd expect. Uh, oh man, I'm so relieved. I tell you, I'm so relieved. There's a couple of thousand pounds in that gearbox and all of my work, you know. I'm really pleased because it's not my fault. It's not the gearbox. It's that diff and I didn't do anything with that diff except change the front seal. So, so it can be moved around like this now. It can be driven front drive, doesn't matter. Um, that diff needs to come out, it needs to be sent off to Ashcroft. I've drained the oil, as you can see here it's dripping still. There's quite a bit of, quite a bit of glitter in there of, of different colours here. <laughs> so I'm going to get this diff off of here. There it is, folks. It's out. So this is the. Initially, I thought like it looks great. There's there's no so much play here, you know. It looks great, but um, this is the drive side. So the gear pinion is pushing on this side of the teeth to make the car go forwards. And while it's got wear, do you know what? It's, it's quite bad as well. <laughs> there's a lip. I can with this very fine screwdriver, I can I can feel a lip. And those teeth are very polished. I think there's meant to be a wear pattern, like a large oval shape in the center of the teeth not touching the top or bottom or the ends and you can see in this case the wear has gone all the way to the end and, and beyond but worse is the overrun side where well, there's a huge lip and if you can see it yeah you can see it there like, come on phone focus there we go huge lip there and i can i can pick it up with a screwdriver so that's when the uh, you come off the gas this is the side which has the wear and again the wear looks quite good there actually it doesn't there is a bit without wear but it goes all the way to the end here as well and there's some quite yeah there's definitely metal being removed you can see this surface it's gone through the hardened surface so that is uh, fragged and it's going off to, off to ashcroft and the new one is here just like hey new from ashcroft i think it might even be a brand new casting i don't know all looking brand new and even the marks on the teeth from where they've got the lefty righty uppy downy Bits all corrected. Ain't she sweet? Oh Christ! Ah! Uh, oh! Why does all this hurt so much? Why do I like doing this? Now, because it is a dry unit and I didn't see any pre assembly lubrication, I am going to stick it in fourth and give it a spin because uh, there's no drive shafts in it. And then I will get on with the drive shafts, and I think then I'm done under here. So, I want to see the proper shaft go fast? Let's do it.
That might very well be the end of the Land Rover project. subject. That's not what Ashcroft said, they just said it'll be alright. Well I believe it actually, I buy into the idea. So here we are with a series vehicle, different differential ratios in it. How about that? <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you think that that is absolutely nuts and you do not like it. I'd like to know what your thoughts are, whether you buy into my school of thought. Well, yeah, you probably prefer to have them both the same, but actually, it doesn't matter what bit. I'd be very interested to know what you think. I tell you what, folks, we've now went toward noises. It's a sunny day, and I'm having a lovely, lovely time driving this thing. It's just working beautifully. The uh, hesitation that was there on my initial test drive, you might have seen it a few videos back. That's gone now. I cleaned the carburetor out again, put a new filter on it, you saw that's gone, it's beautiful, it's driving very nicely now, even on light throttle loads. The steering's now straight, when the vehicle's going in a straight line, the steering wheel is straight. It is now, mechanically, absolutely sweet. Working beautifully. There's more to come. I am going to tell you exactly how much this cost, with a full cost breakdown, and every hour I have spent on it as well. So if you value your time, if you pay someone, you can figure out what the cost of this would be if you were paying labour as well. And there'll also be a couple of time lapses, one of the entire build and one of the engine. Ah, I'll see you again for more Land Rover videos. Stay tuned, folks. <laughs> 